During quarantine, a lot of us found the extra time to learn a new skill. Well, like cooking. But my next guest, not one to back down from a challenge, taught herself to actually do this. Lindsay Sterling is joining us now via Zoom. Lindsay, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. Hi there, Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay, you're a violinist, a dancer, a performer. Uh, you've competed on America's Got Talent and Dancing with the Stars. Okay, I got to ask you this right from the top. Where did you think of the idea of actually hanging from your hair? I mean, where did that come from? You know, um, my managers have now decided that I'm not allowed to go to Cirque du Soleil shows anymore because it was at a Cirque show that I was like, oh, that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I was like, and I could do it while I play my violin and the wheels started turning. And so, yes, I'm now banned from Cirque shows. You look at that uh, and you say to yourself, what kind of training does it take and what kind of pain threshold does it take for someone to be able to do that. The first time I clipped that ring in and put just a little bit of weight on it, I couldn't even take my feet off the ground, you know, before I started to like cry. And I was like, this is impossible. Like just the pain shooting through my body and you actually feel like your scalp is gonna rip off. We have some video of you training to get to the point you could tolerate it. Let's take a look. Discouraged. I don't know how I'll ever be able to do it. It hurts so bad. I'm now going to make it be one month. Wow, Lindsay. I mean, we can see in that video how difficult this was for you. I mean, ouch. Why, yeah. <laughs> why didn't you just quit? It was so, so hard. And going through this really hard year that we've all experienced, I was like, I need to prove, like, just show myself that I can do hard things and I can endure this. And I don't, you know, I do feel like sometimes it is very appropriate to quit something if we've given it our best and say, this isn't for me. But when I really prayed about it and thought about it and like trusted my gut, I had this feeling that like, no, you can do this. And um, it ended up being a really, really powerful experience that taught me a lot about my own self strength and what I could do if I just believed in myself. Ian, I don't think we could do this. Well, I don't have any hair, so I definitely can't do it. 